Aloha! Today we begin our little demonstration about the Schroeder reverb with a very ear seducing and gentle clicking noise. And we add a little bit of reverb and a little bit of warmth. Here we have some wave shaping capabilities due to the tangents object of pure data. And um, yeah, we'll get enough of it. Let's try some cello. A cello drone from a, a certain kind of a mega blockbuster. Let's put out the dry sound and the warmed factor. This is the, the reverb. I'll add some dry sound from the cello. And again, a little bit of warmth. I'm modulating the, the delay of the first comb filter in a milliseconds. Removing the dry sound again. Removing the warmth. Now let's change from atmosphere. Let's uh, have some. I'm looking for guitar recording I made uh, a while ago with, uh, I believe, 12 string guitar, electric guitar, I'm not sure. No, it's not there. No, that's drums. Yeah, there it is, flagellates. Okay, this is the wet sound. Only the reverb tail. Little bit of warmth. And let's add some dry sound. original sound sounds. I believe it's a recording uh, recorded my electric guitar through uh, Marshall GCM what is it 800 tube amplifier. about the Schroeder reverb. First, the um, signal passes three all-pass filters in series, then goes parallel through uh, four comb filters with feed forward and feedback. Um, 
coefficients. Then it goes to the metric mixer, finally it goes to the left and to the right of the DAC object. looking for some sort of a pause knob or pause button I mean uh, there it is no it doesn't exist so so just let's stop then with stop message just copy it delete uh, the comment part et voilà as always I hope you enjoyed it you learned something and I keep on patching in this uh, patch patch patching world oh yeah